Welcome to Japan Treasure Hunters Season 2. I'm Jonathan Lucas and today I'm Joshua Fries. Uh, and this is our, our usual cameraman but this time he, he wanted to get out and try and do this and I hope, you, uh, hope you find some stuff today. Well I'm really hopeful um, considering the history of this area and what it used to be and what it is now. Now it's a nice little camp and recreation area and uh, used to be like an ammo, uh, ammo depot so I'm yeah. hopeful. Yeah, yeah, it's it's got a lot of history. In fact, right now we're standing in front of the, the ammo incinerator, actually, right now. But a brief history on this, this uh, Tama Hills area. In 1938, it was a Japanese chemical, e explosive chemicals ammunition storage area. And there's lots of bunkers and stuff like that. So hopefully later today, we can see some bunkers and, and take some good pictures of them there. Um, we took it over in 1945 and, and the army came in and they took care of all the, the cleansing, the decontamination because the Japanese didn't want to give it up too nicely. So, but ultimately the, they gave it up. So, and then after that, the military had it for, for their own storage of ammunition till 1958. And then they got rid of everything after the Korean War was done. So right now we're, we're sitting here at a wreck area they've got all types of stuff out here to do horseback riding paintball uh miniature golf right down there they got a little lodge back there there's cabins camping i mean if we weren't doing this it would be a good place to come and hang out for the weekend oh yeah absolutely i could uh, i can imagine spending a lot of time up here if i had the chance right yeah so you ready to get started absolutely yeah let's do it man. Alrighty. all right All right, so here we are. We're in front of one of the many, many bunkers here at Palma Hills Rec Center in, uh, on the outskirts of Tokyo here. If you look at the, the design and a lot of the World War II buffs, they've seen this design before. And that's because Japan at the time took their design drawings from Germany. And actually, these are almost exact replicas of the bunkers in Barbaria. So that's really interesting to me. Um, I'm not a huge World War II buff, but I'm starting to get there. Don't get me wrong, I'm getting there. Uh, Josh, so what do you think, man? This is your first time out digging, and uh, you ready to get going to see what you can find? Oh, without question. I'm super excited about today. Well, it's nice to actually have you out from behind the camera, but it's going to be tough doing both booties today because you're going to be doing camera too. It's okay. I'll make it work. All right. All right, man. We've only got this little area here to shoot for, so hopefully we can find something from World War II era. I don't know, because they've done a lot of work up here and stuff like that, but if not, it's still pretty cool to be up here. Oh yeah, I'm good. I'm thinking I'm ready to go. I'm not sure uh, not sure how deep this soil goes, but uh, hopefully we'll find something out here worth keeping. So, think... All right, let's see what we got here. Looks like we got a metal fitting of some kind. Probably came off one of the doors here, I think. Or, well, somewhere on this bunker. There might have been something else here. But, uh, it's a good start at least. At least I won't go home empty handed today. <laughs> Alright, so here, just like right down a little bit from that one. It's ringing up in the 70s. And I have to try that one out too. 70s and then of course it was hitting some other stuff in there too but <clears throat> at least let's see what's coming up here all right so you can hear the uh, okay so something small oh here it is it's a coin Looks like a, a tin yen, maybe. Can't really tell. It's kind of. Yeah, a tin yen. Yeah, it's a tin yen. Nice. Nice. First coin of the day. Hey, Josh. First coin of the day, baby. Windows. So, not too interesting, but 
guess over time stuff just rusts and falls off and then just gets washed down here covered in dirt and soil and stuff but still kind of cool <laughs> all right so we just finished up at the bunker and and, and we kind of decided to hit a couple campsites while we're here this is another thing that Tama hills is known for is camping they got cabins like it's just a great outdoor rec place to be at but yeah we're gonna hit this here um josh was having little little stuff going on over there at the bunker it wasn't a little stuff i was finding like i was finding stuff admittedly i was finding stuff but it's stuff that you'd kind of expect in an old you know world war ii era bunker just you know bits and pieces that have fallen off over time you know bits of metal just off the gate and whatnot so yeah so so we're gonna come here He's already down one coin, by the way, so you know, just we're just gonna keep a small tally on that going. We'll see what happens by the end of the day. So let's hit it here. All right. All right. So here's ringing 85, 86 in that area here. Here, here it's a little funky, but I like this one right here. So I'm thinking it's a coin, and and if it is, it's gonna put Josh in the hole even further. Four inches down. Right there. Places that I like to dig. Right right next to a tree. It is a coin, Josh. Uh. <laughs> well, if I'd stop dropping them. It looks like a 10 yen. Yep, 10 yen. Yeah, 10 yen. All right. Well, I got something about two inches down. That would be a shoe. I'm not exactly sure how I picked up a shoe, but I found a shoe. But uh, let's see. Something else down here too. It's like foil. Yeah. Oh, what else? Anything else? Seriously, who leaves a shoe? I found the other shoe. Ah. Hey Johnny, found the other shoe. We got a pair of shoes. I got a pair of shoes. That's freaking cool, man. Well, what'd you find? Yeah, I found a, a penny just hitting on the top of the ground. Penny. Yeah. Finally, US court. Alright. That's 120. 100 and, I found the one yen too, so that that was just sitting on top of the ground too. Been kind of a good day for coins. Wow, look at that. Another coin. Oh, this was, this one's even better, Josh. This is a hundred yen. Ah, nice. Around my favorite places, around the trees. We just got done at the campsite. It was it, it was okay for me, but I, I, I don't know you found that pair of shoes. I thought that was pretty awesome. It was at least a pair of shoes, not just one shoe, but both. So I'm happy with that. Yeah, <laughs> you paired them up. Nice. <laughs> So now we're sitting in front of uh, another bunker. We're gonna try out here a little bit, but this bunker is a little bit different than the rest because as you can see, it's got the two door design. And there was a few, there's there's actually four of them here at, at Hama that was like this. But but it's, it's still pretty cool to see inside, see the design. And uh, so what do you think? Well, uh, honestly, I'm probably anticipating we'll probably get a lot more uh, a lot of junk metal, like bits and pieces off of this uh, here bunker, but uh, since Jeff used to hang out here, I'm a little curious uh, as to what we might find inside, so I say we get to it. All right, let's, let's do it. <laughs> All right, so, so we're going to take a quick look inside and see that uh, little bit of ventilation up there, some windows, uh, ladder for what, I have no idea. Kind of cool to see this, but really when you're, you're looking at it, how many weapons could they actually store in here? 
It doesn't look, unless they stored them all the way to the roof, there's not really that much that they could store in here. What do you think, John? Yeah, I was thinking that the first time we walked in here. I'm surprised by how small the bunker was. So. Yeah, right. But I do think it's interesting that they've got that separating wall right here, separating the two sides. So, so let's go out and check the other side. All righty. Go. So this is the side that the PO, the POL guys used to take care of, and is you can see they did put in a little bit of work in here. Um, but this was back in like the mid to late 80s and that looks like that's about the last time somebody ever did anything in here but, but according to them this used to be the bar and actually there's a, there's a tool tool chest in here yeah tool cabinet we didn't see this the first time we were in here let's check this out yeah sure enough yeah look at that let's see what we got in here screws oh. <laughs> and it looks like some washers. Let's see. Anything in here? I don't, I don't know what that is. Just screws. And... All right. So here, here, it just got a, a great sound. I dug it a little bit, but I want to stop so that way the camera will come over. But, but, oh, okay. So, oh, wow. Interesting. In, interesting. Looks like it's a, uh, it's a blank. The blank because you can see the tops crimped over. Well, that's a wow. blank shell. Very cool. Yeah, I I'm not sure why this be out here, but well, let's see what's stamped on the back. Yeah, if I can see what's on the back of this thing. But as you can see, it's still got the powder in it because it hasn't been popped. So. I don't know. Can you see that well? No. All right. Well, that's that's really cool anyway. So I'm gonna put that in my pocket of goodies today. Dig it. Sixty-six, seventy-two. Dig it. Wait. Hold on. Take glass. Wait, hold on. Shell casing. Shell casing. 45 maybe? That's pretty big, yeah. Yeah. You know, from uh, 1911, I guess? Oh, it's broken. Let's see if I can get any text on the back. Yeah. Another blank, maybe? maybe? It's got some coloring on the back. Seven. And it's got a seven on the back. All right, so today was an amazing day for the first episode of the season. Mm. And Josh, I'm glad you got to come out and, 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 and be on this side. I think we had some great interaction today and holler in between sides. Hey, but uh, actually for your first day, man, you did amazing. Well, f well, fortunately, there was just a ton of stuff out here to find. Uh, granted, I mean, when you dig around, you know, old World War II bunkers, I'm guessing uh, finding a bunch of scrap metal shouldn't be too surprising. But still, it was, a, it was an interesting variety. Yeah. What did you have there? Well, Around the bunkers, you found most of this stuff. You know, it's a thick, old uh, metal plate, I'm guessing. What would it have been? Steel, iron? What were they used in World War II? Iron, yeah. Uh, found a tent stake over by the uh, old stomping grounds of a certain cameraman. Uh, found this, uh, so it also looks like it's a stake of some kind, but it's a bit more heavy duty. It's a serious piece of equipment. Um, found this on the side of the road it wasn't down too far some old faucet 
uh, washers, nails. Uh, over by the uh, one of the campsites we went to, it was also near a disc golf hole and found these uh, this pair of shoes. Yeah, that's amazing. You actually found them both. Yeah, they were they were down maybe about three, four inches, completely just like compacted by dirt, but together. Okay. Hey, and but I'm looking at your shells, man. You, you got a range of shells there that, that looks like a 30 odd six or 45, but this this is the one that's interesting. So we're gonna do a little, little research on that and then let, let everybody know exactly what it is. But you did find your first coin. I did find one coin, exactly one coin. I was very happy about that. And I'm really surprised that my first coin in Japan out here, like metal detecting, ended up being, an, ended up being a U.S. nickel. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's great. That is amazing. Like not a yen, not a sen, just a nickel. Yeah. Good old U.S. nickel. So, so on this side, I I did pretty decent. You know, I I found some uh, blanks actually, which which I got to find out why why they're out here. But I found some blanks. I found uh, about a hundred and thirty-one yen and a penny, and then I found this brass uh, door hinge. Lastly, so. Overall, that was a great day. I mean, your first time out, and granted, it's a little chilly today, but not so bad for being December. But again, yeah. Josh, thanks for coming out with us, and I'm I'm more than happy to have you be on this side of the camera again. So I'd be happy to join you anytime you want me out here. I, I'd definitely like to do this again, especially coming up here again. It's uh, really exciting. It's a lot of fun. All right, so see you next episode. <laughs>